hello everyone it's me is somebody welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today we'll do a uh, photoshop editing that means the face editing over there just because of we won't retouch anything we just keep the natural things here and uh, by keeping the natural things we will do everything like color correction and uh, the dodge and burn shadow highlighting and the eye and lips enhancer all the things so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon press ctrl or command j here uh, the backup layer and giving here main that's good and now at first we'll do the dodge and burn press ctrl j and j two layers one is the highlight that means the dodge and the other one shadow that's good turn off the shadow select the highlight layer and making it screen mode right press and blending options from here select the underlining layer find out the perfect highlighted areas press the alter option button divide the slider and making this one blend with that that's good and hit ok now mask it out and after masking that going to the image and apply image and making it ok now into the shadow portion making this one multiply right press and blending options in this case we'll work with this underlining layer and find out the shadow from the face press alter option button to divide the slider and adjust the slider like this and hit ok and making it mask going to the image and apply image one thing is that making this one invert just because of uh, highlight and shadow those are opposite and that's why invert this one and hit ok that's good and making this one group giving the name dodge and burn okay that's good and making the mask of the group and image again apply image in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok so the light and shadow is prominent in the face uh, that's the pop-up way now making this one into convert to smart object just because of you need to the main options otherwise you can do that okay going to the filter and camera filter in this camera filter will uh, do the, the color and uh, what will be okay in the basic panel from here i'll add some texture like five or six okay the texture will uh, enhance and from here uh, in the detailing options i'll reduce the noise like 16 or and color noise uh, that is 14 so let's see the changes before and after little change okay that's good and now going to the basic options from here i'll make this one little bit cool type okay and like this and enhance the uh, exposure a little bit and highlight a little bit down and uh, contrast a little bit up and here i'll provide the shadow a little bit and the whites a little bit up that's good and from the detail portion sharpening press the alter option button and enhance the sharpening a little bit and the detail we should preserve the detail okay and that's fine the texture will appear that's good in the color grading portion let's do the color grading something here the shadow highlight and mid tone three things uh, the highlighted area is the uh, here the highlight and the mid tone less highlighted area and shadow the darker area so we'll use color from this color palette and uh, that is the color grading process in a highlight portion at first adding some saturation and which color tone do you like you can put that color so in this case i'll keep it a little bit warm or like this okay in the shadow portion adding some saturation and here is a slider and adding some saturation or color like that okay in a mid-tone we don't use the mid-tone uh, from here okay in the basic portion here is the temperature and tint uh, i'll make this one a little bit like that pink type so let's see before and after so here the tint would be like that minus here is the minus 7 and minus 14 that is the perfect ratio i think before and after okay now going to the effects option adding some vignetting a little bit yeah and the calibration from here adding some hue of the grid primary a little bit and saturation and green primary so if you want to make this one yellowish just go to the right side or left side 
okay you can make this one a little bit like that okay the red primary is my plus 7 and the saturation 8 and the green primary minus 13 saturation 0 and the blue primary that is 16 uh, I think make this one 9 or 7 that's good let's see the before and after huge change over there now in the leaves color we'll enhance that going to the color mixture going to the red color adding some red from here luminance a little bit up okay that's good and the uh, face color is orange over here and here is a hue which type of color do you want I want make this one minus 7 just because of the pinks uh, like that and the green and the orange don't make the orange too much saturation a little bit zero and you can enhance that okay that's fine all the steps it done and hit the ok button okay it will take time to provide the output yeah let's see the before and after okay now going to the filter again and going to the nick collection and color effects pro 4 now we'll apply uh, the color into that so what color will be it depends on you um, color fix pro is another plugins in the photoshop i'll provide to the download link in my video description and you can do that blasting okay lots of filters method over here which one you do prefer to use i don't know here the balance warm and here is the focus or uh, i'm using here the cross processing from here lots of sub method over here and which sub method do you like most you can use that i want to use this actually l02 from here and hit ok it will take time to provide our final output let's see the before one and after one and now going to the color adjustment from here color balance from here you can balance the color so which color do you like i think this that is the cool that is the warm yeah let's see the before and after and now that after going to the here is the photo filter and making the photo filter like this yeah that's good and now going to the gradient map so from here i'll select the gradient any kind of uh, like a warm type uh, gradient like this and hit ok and making this one into soft light or overlay or hard light whatever you do like so soft light is good for me and making the fill a little bit you can change the lookup uh, i should use this or you can experiment with that this this okay i think that is good for me and now uh, here is a uh, too much light i'll adjust this one by using the levels from here i'll make the levels like this so after using that the spots uh, you can remove by using the neural filter i'm making this one into a smart object actually convert to smart object now going to the filter and going to the neural filter from neural filter i'll do the smooth skin a little bit it will help you out to make the uh, skin uh, into the natural tone but uh, like that so smooth little bit 32 i should make this one uh, 16 twice at 32 that's good and hit the ok button so let's see the before and after so at first we done the dodge and burn we just make the color correction we added some filters and color balances and the levels and after that we have the neural filter you can use and we use the neural filter the natural things no spot removal but we are getting the huge changes and uh, you are getting like that hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon until the next video stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye